Armstrong had said many times that there were so many things, almost a computer couldn't calculate how many things were going through his mind at the moment he said one small step. What was going through your mind when you laid down that line for the first time? Don't mess it up. Nice to see you guys. Thank you. Excellent work on this. There are now three space exploration movies that are in my top 10 favorite movies of all time. So thank you for bringing it. Is this one of them? <laughs> yeah, what, what I, I noticed say? you didn't mention that. Yeah. Don't tell me, actually. I don't want to. It's fine. Let's just. Right. Lie what to if me. I went, you know, Apollo 13, yes. got down to Armageddon, yeah. still no first man? No, this is it, oh for crying out loud. Oh don't be silly. Um, talk about one giant leap. You playing a Midwesterner. I know. How was that? A huge leap. Um, thousands and thousands of miles. Um, it was amazing. It is tricky because I think when you. Um, uh, for me, anyway, I sort of know the the west and the east coast of America, and then the whole sure. the middle the middle bit is just I I don't know where I sit, and so um, it was amazing. It was amazing learning about that period of time as well, particularly in Midwest and the you know people's morals, the way they lived their life and their attitude, and that really summed a lot of Jan up actually. At the core of this movie, what I think is going to resonate so deeply is the family. And from what I understand, to get that organic, you guys were like locked in a cabin? <laughs> we, vol we volunteered to go to the cabin. Yes. It was only for kind of six hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't even think there was a lock. No, there, there no. wasn't. It was a very open door. Obviously. But we were, uh, you know, uh, allowed to, to have this process before we started filming the movie where we could spend uh, a few weeks in... in, in you know, uh, different locations, sort of, you know, uh, rehearsing on camera and, uh, you know, learning about the characters and about the dynamic of the family. And, and they ended up actually using a lot of it in the film. What I love about Damien style, and I don't want to call it improv because I know that's a gross exaggeration, but he shoots in a way that that technology doesn't restrict you. You're free to do whatever is coming natural to you in the moment. Is this right? Well, I think in this, um, context he tried as much as possible to do that in this in that he didn't want the camera to dictate the style and uh, the style of this film came from documentaries about this time and, 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 uh, and about these missions you just missed a chance to talk to Janet about this mm -hmm. probably but you've probably heard from her family members certainly people close to her you nailed it <laughs> um, I don't know I think the two, the two people who I really wanted to um, make sure weren't I mean to say weren't offended by the performance <laughs> of her sons, <laughs> and I don't think they, they, they have. They've been really kind to me and really, really lovely. Nothing can ever do justice to that, to Janet, um, ever, because uh, she was her own woman. Um, but I'm, I'm very honoured to have had a, to have lived in her shoes for just a little bit. Well, again, remarkable work. Um, Armstrong had said many times that there were so many things, almost a computer couldn't calculate how many things were going through his mind at the moment he said one small step. What was going through your mind when you laid down that line for the first time? Don't mess it up. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, it was obviously there's a lot of pressure on that line. It's one of the most famous things ever said. And it's also, it's also, I think really indicative of what I learned about Neil, you know, he, he had this extraordinary ability to see things in their larger um, context. He could see a giant leap in one small step and, and by all accounts it's something he didn't give much thought to saying until he was focused on landing and then he thought I'll, I'll figure out what to say. And then he also said, what was I going to say about taking a small step off a ladder, you know, and, and then that's what comes out. It's, it's, it's such a special thing to say and a very special person would say that. So there was a lot of pressure on it, but uh, I tried to take a, a page out of Neil's playbook and not think too much about it. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe, turn on your notifications, and click here to get more videos like this.